Don't forget your next meeting is this Thursday, October 5th in Mrs. Ginther's room from 2.35 to 3.15 p.m. Please make sure your ride is here promptly at 3.15. Math Club is coming to a classroom near you. Ms. Peterson will be sponsoring Math Club this year in room 1172, 8th grade. There are posters hanging around the school and buy your math classrooms to scan and sign up. If you're interested in Math Club, we will be meeting twice a month on Tuesdays after school. The first meeting will be October 10th. During Math Club, we will have multiple competitions solving challenging problems, video competitions for a chance to win a $1,000 scholarship, and practicing for TMSCA for next year. Please scan the QR code on the flyers to enter your name if you are interested. Deadline to sign up is October 6th. Rules. Student Council will be hosting the Fall Hat Parade on Friday, October 6th in recognition of the Heavenly Hats Foundation. The Heavenly Hats Foundation is holding its Hat Parade event to benefit medical patients around the globe who lose their hair due to their disease or treatment of disease. The proceeds collected from the campus will go directly to making these patients hats to wear during their hair loss. To participate in the hat parade, students need to visit the student council table at lunch Tuesday, October 3rd through Thursday, October 5th and donate $1 to the Heavenly Hats Foundation. For this donation, you will receive a blue wristband and earn the privilege of wearing your favorite hat to school on Friday, October 6th. Remember, wearing a hat gives a hat. Please see Ms. Ganther in room 1195 if you have any questions. KDISD's Betty Sue Creech Elementary School suffered severe flooding damage from Hurricane Harvey. As a result, they are currently relocated and in need of games to occupy their students during recess. Wood Creek Junior High Student Council has organized a game board donation drive to fill this need. The drive will start on Monday, October 2nd and end on Friday, October 13th. Throughout the hallways, you will see a list of games requested by certain grade levels. Please provide new, unopened games off of this list and drop them in the Wood Creek Junior High front office or in Ms. Ganther's room, 1195. Thank you for your generosity. Timberwolf reminder, please clip box tops, place them in a plastic bag, and turn them into the front office to help our school earn money. Make sure your name is on your bag because the top two students who collect box tops will earn a special prize from your very own Wood Creek Junior High Student Council. Bullying myth number one. Bullying is normal. Sometimes people will dismiss concerns about bullying, saying that it's just a part of growing up. In fact, the vast majority of young people do not bully others. However, when bullying behaviors evoke laughter, cheers, or feelings of power, they are reinforced and create a culture that condones bullying. The good news is that the rate of students experiencing bullying in the U.S. schools has dropped from 28% in 2011 to 22% in 2013, according to the, to the U.S. Department of Education. So there's still work to do, particularly with groups of youth who int to tend to experience higher levels of bullying. But there's progress. We don't have to accept bullying as an inevitable part of school life. Rather, we can emphasize the many other ways peers interact with each other that are supportive, encouraging, and inspiring. Girls basketball tryouts will begin for 7th graders on Tuesday, October 31st at 5.45 a.m. For 8th graders, tryouts will begin Tuesday, November 1st after school until 4.30. Tryouts will be Tuesday and Friday of that week. In order to try out for basketball, you must have a valid physical turn into Coach Severin and all Ring 1 sports forms completed online by October 27th. Handouts, parent information, and sign-ups will be given to all, all of those interested in PE classes starting next week. For any further questions, please see Coach Severin. This is Monarch Butterfly Week. The Monarch Butterfly became the Texas State Insect by 1995 resolution of the state legislature. The monarch is unique among butterflies in that it is the only species of butterfly that does not hibernate but migrates in changing seasons. It undergoes four changes during its lifetime. It begins as a tiny egg. In the second stage, it becomes a black, yellow, and white striped caterpillar. During this stage, the caterpillar sheds its skin up to four times as it grows to its full length of about two inches. In its third stage, the monarch forms a protective covering called a chrysalis or pupa. The pupa is shiny and green with gold speckles. In its final stage, the monarch emerges from the pupa as a beautiful black and orange butterfly. 
This entire process takes about a month. There are usually three to four generations of monarchs produced each year.